Well, hot diggity dog. Look at all these feral cuties. You know what I'm sad about? No more pumpkin. Like, isn't that kind of devastating? Did we leave it last year for like... Did we leave it last year for Thanksgiving? Because I feel like we kept the pumpkin zoom longer than we were supposed to. <laughs> I might I might do that again this year because I miss her. We long for the pumpkin zoom, the terrifying, <laughs> the terrifying overlay. Good hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to a, a later than planned Monday stream, but I'm very glad to be here uh, vibing with y'all. It was a very long weekend. Um, I did not get a lot of sleep. I'm tired in a way that like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like a normal, like, oh, I'm a little sleepy. Like, I feel a little like, whatever. It's like earlier today, my body felt like it weighed 10 million pounds. Like holding my eyelids open was like a concerted effort. <laughs> Tired to the friggin' bones. And once again, as always, massively renewed respect for people who are permanent caregivers of children. Um, for those who don't know, I watched my... He's not really my nephew, but like I'm Auntie Ali to him. Um, I'm his honorary auntie. He's my honorary nephew. Um, I watched him and we did our first overnight. Um, and honestly, like the child was amazing. Like he was an angel and he was wonderful and it was a fucking blast. And I cried when he left because I'm a baby. Um, <laughs> but I'm just like, dang, dude, it's real tough to watch a child all the time and worry about them. Like it's so hard to just, it's just worrying about another human being all the time is like, damn that is exhausting um it's like i can bear you know i barely remember to eat multiple times a day myself because i'm just not a smart man so like having to being responsible for another human being and making sure that they are like taken care of is like whew. anyway <laughs> powered all the parents out there doing the thing because damn um yeah i i actually feel like i'm stoked that we got time back you know what i mean max like it was our our fallback it's going to be a little weird now, though, because I think my stream time is going to be like an, it's later, right? For everybody, because like it's technically five because it became four. So it's like I'm I don't know. It's going to be weird. Hopefully I'll I'll sort it out because I know Europe doesn't change their clocks at the same time as as us. Um, I'll try to like start a bit earlier this week to kind of make up for the random. Whatever. How old? He's three and a half. Like exactly um unless my math is off but i think he's he's gonna be turning four in um at the end of april so he's like he's like right right about there almost three and a half um but like truly truly like the he's the he's the funniest person in the world you know he is the zoo he is at zooming age yes <laughs> he's also, he's also so he is so tall so strong like he is like i can't keep up with him my brother came over to hang out and he loves like loves my brother they are besties and the whole time my brother was there like the second he walked in the door bear was like oh it's chase time like thank you sir like it is playtime. we will be running around the couch for 45 minutes nonstop. welcome to the party hope you're ready realize that you're in your late 30s and this might be a challenge for you but like let's go <laughs> It was get to running, sir. The time is now. Like he's just he's zooming in the Thunderdome. It is time. Yeah. Oh God. Son is twenty four. It's just like yesterday. He was two and used his diaper to paint the bedroom. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Incidentally, Bear has um uh shown me his uh excrement before i'm like how do i say this in like a not weird way that child has put his hand in his diaper and shown me his shit that has happened um fun times for everyone uh no but he's like he's 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 so funny wild sentence right yeah kind of crazy um but no he's like he's just fun and he's like hilarious he he is newly very into frozen and like knows the songs dude listening to him just like full-on belt the opening song of frozen is like the cutest thing in the world it's just it's it's the cutest thing in the world um yeah he's it, it, it just kind of turns into like it just kind of turns into like, yeah 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 hey yeah 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 <laughs> it just turns into like just yelling you know like it's a little bit of like there's a melody in there somewhere but like it's very much just like we're yelling now kind of a thing um 
but oh my god it's so good he loves it he loves elsa and anna he gets so excited when he sees olaf like he's it's great it's so cute i have a five-year-old can i be able to talk to me we're doing crafts all night long i love that oh we did oh my gosh we had a blast with play-doh yesterday and i was like making um our names with play-doh and we were like doing the letters like you know all that stuff just goofing off saying letters showing him the letters doing all that stuff and having him say his name say my name and all that silliness like you know uh nephews also know the words in full scene choreo every eyes thrown every turn he's also yeah he's a very talented dancer big fan of anything musical but in particular like he he's the reason that i know what bluey is um it's a banger of a show anyway and like i would genuinely watch that show even if i were not around any like friends kids like that show is so good um but he is a big fan of the opening sequence of bluey and it's like a it's like a legal requirement that we that that anyone in the room that is witnessing the the introduction the opening of bluey is vibing to the maximum you know what i mean it's like we are required to dance clap our hands that kind of a <laughs> that kind of a vibe you know which to be fair it's a banger like it's a great it's a great opening song combat good hello bluey is so good uh, i'll just sing it for you mom <laughs> you don't even have to pull it up i'll just sing it for you what's up blue how you doing that's what happened with my niece. She loved Bluey. I've been to the first few seasons. Like her shader, like that is so cute, dude. The nut. Okay, the, to be fair though, the, there are tons and tons of like. Obviously, I'm a big fan of like all kinds of animated features and shows and things. Like I like Futurama is one of my favorite shows, as you know. So like I'm very much in the camp of like animation is for everyone. It's not like little kid stuff. I know there's like no one in this chat would ever be like that, but you know there's people who are like, oh, I'm not watching like animated stuff, cartoons. Like that's for babies. Um, bluey in particular has such unbelievable like adult themes and i mean like in the sense of like problem solving life skills like there are like themes in the show that are so much like incredibly deep and important life lessons and things that pertain to like generally people of any age but like in particular like they are incredibly important things that are so useful to hear and be reminded of both as a child and as an adult um and I have cried more <laughs> watching that show than I've cried in like watching any other like animated thing. And that's saying a lot. Cause like I watched it like that show, there are there are episodes. I know we've talked about the um the sleepy time episode, the dream one. Ooh, I can't watch that episode came on while we were watching and I literally had to like hide my, I was like turning away because like my brother and my and bear were on the couch watching with me. And I, I was, I told my brother, I was like, I, this episode makes me cry so bad. And I literally was just like, <laughs> like, ooh, like I'm like ugly crying that episode. I mean, there's so many like rug Island, bro. That show is just out of control. Good there. I like, I, I cry at like every other, every other episode. It's so unbelievably good. Um, dude, Bluey's the best ampersand. It's so good. Aaron, good. Hello and welcome. How was the, how was race weekend besties? I have not gotten to see the highlights or uh, watch the race. I know my mom, uh, recorded it for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch it at some point, but me and my work colleagues often get on the subject of Bluey and how wholesome it is. It's so good. So like, it's so good. Ugh. I guess you just saw something you wanted to play. Oh dude the whole thing come on uh, no yeah the sun and the planets and the mom girl and when she brings the but oh my god uh found myself continuing when you watch the kids programs by myself yeah because they're so they're bangers they're so good lady i care for is young mentally watch a lot of animated stuff can't convince her on blue to watch fireman sam i don't think i've ever seen fireman sam but oh dude bluey's great just like put it on one day and see what happens. <gasps> Hello, welcome to the stream. The crabs are here. I was just gonna say, I hope that my alerts are back to like normal alerts. We had a bunch of Halloween and like holiday alerts. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I remembered to change all of like the variations, but I think we got it. 
Um, hi, my love. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Were you doing Alan Wake or did I invent that? Or two, Alan Wake two. I feel like I like I saw that and I was lurking in your chat today, but I also don't really know what day it is or where I am. I was watching a three and a half year old all weekend and my brain is just like actually a pile of mush. Um, welcome in crabs. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Allie or Farrell. She, her pronouns, variety content here on twitch.tv. Today we're having a very chill, very short, very chatty Lego build stream. We are going to be making this in just a little while. The plum blossom, which I'm very excited about. Doing the newest DLC. Oh, hell yeah. I'm toddler maxed right now. Like it's wild in here. Um, we were also just talking about how Bluey is such a good show because um, the he's not I, I told Chad earlier, he's my honorary nephew. He's not my actual nephew. He's my friend's kid, but I am Auntie Ali. Um, and I watch shows with my nephew like all the time. Like he loves Bluey and all that stuff. And he's he's obsessed with Bluey. And I started watching it and just watching it on my own because the show is so unbelievably good. And we were talking about all the times that we cried uh, about Bluey <laughs> because it's such a good show. Um, anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, the botanical Lego sets are unbelievably good. Alejo, what is up, my gamer? Welcome back for 50 months, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you for your continued support of the stream and the fam. Um, yeah, like you know, you just have like a, like honorary nephews and nieces and and little kids running around all everywhere. Yeah, that's how it is. Godsons love Louis. There's, it's so good. Under the ring, like it is so, so good. Thank you, Gameu. I'm I'm having a very relaxed very chilled out vibe today um anyway uh yeah we're gonna be doing a little a little chatty lego build today thank you again ash and crabs for the raid welcome in if y'all are not already following ashley Abrado, do yourself a favor it is free 99 go show her some love and kindness bluey is just so easy yeah and it's like it's there's obviously there's like conflict and there's stuff in the show but it's like the the I think that's like a major part of what actually drew me into the show in the first place is like the conflict resolution is so it feels so completely natural and like real like it actually is like oh people who people who contribute to the show like have been around young children and like care about young human beings and their development and their you know what I mean like it's like very clear that this is like such a labor of love to like children around the world like it's so good um yeah the conflict resolution is extremely extremely cool and i also love like my brother and i were talking about it we we, we got into a very like weirdly deep conversation about bluey and he was talking about how how much he loves like that the neighbors and like the mailman and like everyone else that's in the show like all the other characters apart from the actual like healer family are it's kind of this utopia where everything just sort of is like it just is what it is like everybody plays along you know what i mean like if there is a game or if there is like something going on like all of the adults and kids all are just like on board for it and i just think there's something like so nice about that like there's something so cool about an example of just like a wonderful like a very deep-seated sense of community and like the vibe that everybody there is just so interested in like joy and fun and like participating you know anyway i'm gonna stop talking uh, hashtag not spawn just go watch bluey it's like so fucking good <laughs> like the show is so good otter poppy thank you for three years with the fam can we get some g's in the chat please welcome back very very good to have you here i am doing very well thank you so much happy to be streaming today with y'all good to see you thank you again for three years with us they're so good at conflict resolution. It really does. It actually teaches kids how to deal with it. And it, and it does so without like, I just said we were done talking about Bluey and I'm still doing it. Um, it's like, it's it shows kids how to deal with really complex issues and, and how to handle their own emotions without it being like a, there is one answer to everything and no matter what, everyone's going to get it right. And also like, it never, um, there's never like a moment of punishment or shame. There's like no shame or like embarrassment or whatever around the kids acting out or struggling to handle a situation. You know what I mean? Like it's always it's always very much about like continued communication, being open on and honest about our feelings. Like what do we really want to do? How do we really feel? It's like awesome. It's so good. Bluey breakdowns you here. Welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> In this essay, I will. Oh God. No, like it's like I'm telling you under it's 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 one of my favorite shows now because of my my little nephew. 
and I, I like learned about it from him and it's great. I was just talking about, <sighs> okay, memories. I was just talking about the sleepy time episode and how I, I literally can't even speak about it because I will start, I will break down. Um, I was talking about that one and I was, <laughs> I was talking about the rug Island episode. Um, God, what was the other one that I was crying at? I was also, I think, just tired and like very overly emotional last night. So kind of everything was hitting different, but oh, and it'd be just, just blubbering, like blubbering actively on my couch next to this child. Who's like, why are you crying? Like, this is a banger. What are you upset about? This bluey, like clap your hands. We love this show. Like, I, <laughs> here is why we are all muffin. Dude, the episode where, what is it? When they're trying to play library and she's like, they, they just tell the kids to let like muffin play how she wants. And she's like, I can do what I want because I'm the most special kid in the world. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's what they told. Oh, dude. And then the dad comes in and just is like, drops the hammer. Like, you're not the most special kid in the world to everybody. Like, you already your mom and I. But like, oh, my God. I'm like, I'm here for the honesty. I'm here for setting the record straight with the kid and being real about it. Like, come on. That episode and the friggin' charades episode when she wants to be the ballerina and they all decide to pretend like they don't know what she is. And then Socks gets to guess it because like Socks couldn't figure out how to play the game otherwise. And then like finally on that one got to pre girl it tears uh, sobbing any episode with their Nana. Forget it. Like the Nana is just such an angel and I can't deal with it. Like stop it. Ziv Bluey is like, come on, chef's kiss. It's so good. Love to walk my dog. I don't know if this has been mentioned when Bluey walks. But yes, someone did mention that episode. There are too many. They're all so good. And almost all of them make me cry. So <laughs> really, like, where are we at here with this? You know? Yeah, my nephew's like, the hell's wrong with her? You know? No, like, truly a chaos. And I feel like there's, like, a passive, like, inner child healing that is going on when I'm watching this show. That's probably why... That's probably why it's a little emotional for me at times, but that's exactly it, Becca. Dude, that is literally exactly it. It is the inner child in all of us millennials that are being exposed to it passively through other people's children or our own that are just there. There's there is health and healing there. <laughs> oh, God. What's up, Dana? How are you? No, Muffin is like so ridiculous. Like, she's so funny exactly dude tanya the episode when they uh make two they were they're being each other where they're like it's two blueies and two bingos and like dad kind of f's up and says like oh i need two bingos and bluey gets really sad because she's like she thinks that she's not wanted for a second she you know what i mean and bingo's like i'm she's like nobody wants me two of me because i'm annoying and bingo's like i am also annoying babe let me show you <laughs> So good oh my god they're both just like they're so cute i just love them i love their dynamic their whole family dynamic like all the characters are so well thought out and well written and just like wonderful oh my god cat i literally cannot i cannot the one where they all make an effort to include her because she's she's too little to play on some stuff i can't and then like you see you like you see him like drop the rock but it, ah! crying sobbing throwing up oh my god otter poppy i can't with that one either waterworks yeah muffin is the definition of a diva capital d <laughs> diva it's so true wait annoying you mean me that's crazy didn't know i was in this episode yo j rock welcome back month two of your year-long gifted sub from combat thank you again combat for that i appreciate it um Jay, it's good to see you. I hope you had a good weekend, dude. Hope the kitties are doing well. Dude, Izzy, all of them. I'm it's so funny because I'm like, oh, there's like a couple episodes that really hit kind of hard and make me cry. And then as people are like naming different episodes, I'm like, oh, yeah, cry to that one. And then someone names a different episode. I'm like, mm, yep, cry to that one. So maybe it's just all of them. Pomeranians are a small but hearty breed. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, Aaron, the, what's the what's the one with um the one where I don't think there's any dialogue. It's the episode where they're trying to build up the dam in the driveway when it's raining and it's just bluey and chilly. It's just bluey and the mom. Girl. 
girl, no. Because I'll be dehydrated from the amount of crying that I'm doing at that episode. It's so good. Oh, Lord, the music is good. The animation is beautiful. It's all just like, it's whatever. Watch Bluey. Anyway, it's just called Rain. Oh, it's so good, Megs. It's, mm, it's so good. All right, babes. How do we feel about getting into a little bit of Lego fun and goodness? Tomorrow, um, which I'm sure everyone knows, but in case anyone is blissfully unaware, <laughs> tomorrow is election day. Um, I know a lot of the community has has already voted. Uh, a lot of people did early voting. A lot of people did mail-in voting. Um, very cool, very exciting. But I just figured um, in, in advance of the... Uh, sort of anxiety, but also excitement, but also abject terror of uh, the possibility of the results of tomorrow. Um, I figured it would be nice to just do a very chill moment, give you guys a brief breath of fresh air, a respite from all of that. Um, so yeah. Oh my God, Daniel. Yes, absolutely. I, did, I didn't watch the race uh, blues. Um, I have not seen it yet. I was babysitting this weekend, but I will watch it for sure. My mom recorded it for for us to watch. Tear it down in my brain. Yeah, I will be, I will do my best to provide a calming space to for everyone to just have their brains turn off for just a little while. Um excellent schmoo. Thank you for voting. I really appreciate that. Um going to vote with your mom tomorrow. Mm, yes, hot, sexy, love that. Beautiful behavior. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for voting. Nothing more calming than lethal company TVH. Dude, I'm so down to do uh, to do a little bit of lethal with uh, you. Also, I want to play games with Mira at some point. I haven't played games with them in like 150 years and it feels criminal. Like there's something wrong with that. What the Legos? I'm here for probably fuck around in June life. I love that for you. Great lady. Made chocolate pudding and have a bowl top of whipped cream. Oh, that sounds good. Oh no, like please do, Jay. I'm so down for that. Um, okay, I think I have everything set up correctly. At any point, if y'all can't see, hold on. There we go. If at any point, like, this is a little too dark, because it is, you know, obviously because of the time change, we're going to have the sun setting earlier. I know that's not really how it works, but you know what I mean. It's getting darker at an earlier time now. Um, so if for whatever reason, like, this is not good for you guys, or you can't see something or whatever, I'll adjust the lighting. I don't think this build is going to be super duper long. Like, the chrysanthemum is about the same like it's the same pot like the base is the same and i think it's kind of around the same amount of pieces i don't remember i think that maybe the chrysanthemum is fewer pieces than this but either way um it's not going to be a supremely long build so hopefully we'll have enough light to to continue as we are now but i'm just thrilled that i get to put together another one of these style like decorative pots for this because building this for the chrysanthemum was like maybe my favorite part of the entire thing like putting like assembling the pot and the base was like <laughs> so good oh no oh mira's computer's fucked up homophobia that's fucked up yeah we're building we're building the the plum blossom today becca which i'm very excited um while wow, the graphics here is so good because i didn't register that it was just another camera <laughs> hey court how are you <gasps> Just in time. Just logged off work. Let's go, besties. Okay. So, yeah, we are going to be doing a very slow, very chill, very chatty Plum Blossom build. You build this one on the weekend? Let's go. I'm so excited. I think that this is literally going to be perfect to put in my bedroom. I kind of have, like, I have, like, light blue walls and I have a duvet that has like all kinds of colors. It's like a, a paisley that kind of looks vaguely autumnal. It's like like the duvet that I use during the fall and winter months. And I feel like this color combination is literally going to be perfect with my walls and with the color of the duvet. Like it's literally the perfect thing. Um, so I'm very excited. Jigsaw, good hello and welcome. You have this one too? Dude, I hope that you get to build it soon and that you love it. And yes, obviously, as we always say, if anyone wants to, oh God, we had to do Chico snacks. If anyone wants to build along with us or if anyone wants to do any little creative projects along with us, that is exactly what these streams are for. 
chill co-crafting kind of vibes here um chico we have to do your snacks my dude i completely completely forgot because i'm an asshole and a terrible mother all right chico He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, not yet, Jigsaw. I have to, I have to watch the race. I think I'm gonna go um, watch it with my mom tomorrow. Can you sit down? Handsome, good boy. Thank you. Okay, snack number one. That was 30 minutes ago. This is from Cat Genius. Thank you, Cat. Snack number two is from Tiver. Thank you, Tiver. Snack number three is from Disco. Thank you, Disco. Ooh, I love that ampersand. What a fun gift. I love that. Snack number four is from Mele Mira. Say thank you to your auntie. They gave you a snacky. And our final snack is from Firamos. Thank you, Firamos. And he gets one from Uncle Jay as well. Yeah. Handsome man. All right, you can go back and lay down and get cozy. Sorry, I disrupted your, your nap time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my boy. I'm go nap. Without spoiling the race, it was crazy. I peeked into the to the um, Discord for like a moment on Sunday, and I was like, "Oh shit, I gotta wait," because I saw some crazy stuff happen, and I was like, "I gotta, I gotta wait," <laughs> and and watch it, and then like reread the the F one channel once I actually have the the race in my brain. What's up, Bizzle? How you doing? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Aaron. I'm gonna scroll like in the Discord and and get it all in not real time, retroactively. Chris, thank you for 86. That's like a lot of months. Remember in-person voters and go like look about Oh yeah, for sure. That's a great reminder. Thank you, Chris, for saying so. Um, there are a lot of wonderful volunteers and folks out there who turn um, ballot measures from horrible, confusing legalese garbage into something that is actually digestible by like a regular human being who is not involved in any legislative processes or is not familiar with the language of like writing amendments and like ballot measures um highly highly recommend uh doing a bit of research i'm sure most of you have already done so um but highly recommend before going into vote because i you know we're all we're all doing our damn best sometimes you read something on a ballot and you're like oh, i think i know what that means that's pretty clear um and then you come to find out that it's like not at all what the hell it says or there's some other weird stuff buried like within that particular um uh, proposed amendment or ballot measure or whatever what have you so yeah please uh just take a few minutes and research each of the ballot measures on your um on your ballot and take a look at everything um again there are tons and tons of great resources online that will help you kind of understand what you're looking at um more clearly and in more detail than what you're just getting on the actual ballot itself sorry i'm trying to move my my key out of the way what's up no gamer Hell yeah, Becca. I know, right? Exactly, Gray. Check state rules, at least know how you can have a cheat sheet with you. Look up stuff uh, while in the booth. Oh yeah, um, I, I don't think there's many places that prevent you from that. I, I have walked in before when there's been a lot of stuff like um, on the ballot. I have actually gone in with a sample ballot pre-filled out and done it like if there were people that I was writing in or if there was anything like going on like for local stuff um and I'm like I want to make sure I spell their name correctly or I want to make sure whatever you know what I mean um I've actually gone in with a sample ballot before so yeah that's a good that's a good thing as well to encourage people to check what they can do I don't think there I don't think there's anything about that but yes and also check every part of the ballot because there are often two sides where I'm voting there's also a thing to vote on the back of it yes please look yes for sure yeah, it's kind of wild, Jigsaw. Voting to retain state Supreme Court justices, state representation for the sample bearers recommend. Yeah, we also have merit retention votes for justices that are appointed by the governor, and I am not retaining any of them because almost all of them are against um, uh, health care and, uh, you know, helping people who would otherwise be in a situation of forced pregnancy and fuck all that noise. So, 
yeah that is how it works in my state as well and i'm not retaining any of those motherfuckers because they all suck anyway no more election talk right now except good job everybody who's voting and voted and all that good stuff do your thing obviously it's super important but i know that people do need a break from all that shit so <clears throat> okay so i'm not going to use this because we have our little digital version um she can just live right there um i will have that little build guide pulled up the whole time so you guys can see like what step i'm on and also so i can see what the hell i'm doing um i will not be chaotic today i will do as we've been doing and only open one bag at a time normally i dump everything in one thing but i will be respectful of people who prefer that i don't do that <laughs> I will keep it minimally chaotic today and we will do one bag at a time. Um, what's up, Joan Jewel? Welcome. How are you? <clears throat> Restrain at a timely gavess? Who am I? <laughs> okay, so we are building the Lego Plum Blossom set. Um, the four gentlemen, yes, yes, quite. Um, oh, is this like a weird, is, it, is the crop weird on that side? Why is it only on that? That's so strange. It looks like it's the front part of the booklet, like cutting in. It looks like part of the flower. Anyway, um, the plum tree flower has long been a popular motif in traditional art. In a tradition that spans more than a thousand years, it is often portrayed in ink and wash paintings amidst a classic quartet of beautiful plants known as the four gentlemen or the four noble ones. To get, We read this in the chrysanthemum one, right? Yeah, because it's like these. Yeah, I love this. Together, they represent the virtues and continuous circle of the four seasons, the plum tree, the orchid, the bamboo, and the chrysanthemum. Sprouting its vibrant crimson blossoms in the coldest months, the, months, the plum tree reminds us of our inner beauty and grace in times of adversity. Oh, this feels very appropriate right now. <laughs> Creativity of nature. Creating decor that draws inspiration from nature is a relaxing and rewarding way to set your imagination free. As you build your plum tree blossoms in this vase, you can play with symmetry and seemingly random variants and organic shapes developing in perfect balance. From buds to blossoms, you can study the stages of this magnificent, resilient flower. You can follow the building instructions to create the curated display, but you also have the creative freedom to rearrange the flowers to grow in new directions in the grid of branches. It's the nature of creativity fueled by the creativity of nature. Oh yeah, I mean, I do that when I build Legos on my own Megs. I always just put them all in the same bowl it's just easier for me but i i get it i get that some people don't love that as a as a build strategy really the one little tooth that i picked to pull isn't gonna yield a result like i picked like one little serrated part that was just like no thank you <laughs> she said not today okay bag number one is going in lovely Okay, and then I think we have a tiny bag as well with some of our gold accent pieces for the pot, etc. Try to keep those to one side. I'm going to swirl them all around anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's like, actually, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll be staying put. Don't feel like moving today. All right, let's begin with our base. Yes. How lovely. Oh, you know, I did want to say one more thing. This isn't so much like, I mean, it is it is election related, but uh, I wanted to just say a quick word. Um, I have seen some, and I mean like very little of like the political ads that have been airing incessantly <clears throat> and have ramped up um, over the last few weeks, obviously. I've seen very few of them, um, but I just wanted to say, in case anyone out there has seen them, um, especially my uh, LGBTQ plus cuties, and in particular, my trans cuties that are in this community or maybe listening, um, I just wanted to say that all of that horrific rhetoric and drivel and fear mongering and disgusting language that they use in particular against queer folks and in... And in <laughs> extreme particular against trans people uh is is horrific and hurtful and awful but it is not the way that the majority of people feel and just know that you have so 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 many people who care about you and so many people who will continue to fight 
and and speak in support of and live in support of you having the care that you need and access to the resources that you need um it just it made me like it like brought me to tears just listening to that garbage um and i can't imagine how it feels to have to see it all the time um so just just letting all of my trans bbs know and all of my queer bbs know uh you have people on your side and people that care about you and will never stop fighting for you and never stop fighting to ensure and secure your your rights and access to things that you need so in case anyone needed to hear it we love you and we appreciate you and fuck the haters those people are so hateful it is unbelievably disgusting so anyway gotta show some love to my babies today it's just it's like it's like so it's so blatant and so gross and it's like what do you like why do you how does this affect you at all why do you care like <laughs> shut the fuck up shut the fuck up anyway <clears throat> oh sherry dude i'm sorry people are just so so nasty and you <clears throat> excuse me you existing and being like your truest selves is like not a threat to anyone and is not a, a hindrance or a burden or anything like you deserve to live exactly as you are <laughs> and fuck anyone who would challenge that for their own presumed moral fucking reasons like gross ill sorry no thank you okay okay so this is starting the same way as the other pod i believe i put the things on the right direction which is shocking i usually do them upside down so 100 percent, becca and thank you chat for being so wonderful and vocal and supportive as well of all members of our fam regardless of their identity <clears throat> and i mean honestly there was like there was no one spared like it's just also overtly horrifically racist as well you know what i mean like there's there's no, they're, they're they're doing everything they can they're pulling all the stops they're doing all the fear mongering they're doing all the nasty stuff like it's <laughs> like no one was spared the the hateful garbage rhetoric but like you know we know that that is literally the way of that candidate so that looks good is that is that it it's the half moons facing that way right yeah excellent put out a video today no matter if everything is on the way yeah and i love that cat and i feel like it is so so fucking important and essential that we continue to tell all of these folks that they have our support because like i just can't even imagine how scary it feels right now like i feel like it's always been scary but in particular right now with the very 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 bold loud bigotry uh happening i don't know what i don't know one second one second no gracias no take a nose co all right mm, wait i didn't skip a thing right no okay dude we love you too sherry very much and you and your wife deserve all the same things that every other american does okay oh we're stunning we're flying beautiful i know and that's the thing and i feel like it's that thing where i'm like i i want to continuously say something about it and call it out for what it is and like not get i don't want to do the thing where we become like and i mean I, I don't know i feel like uh i'm trying to phrase this very delicately <laughs> i feel like the people who are not necessarily as deeply impacted by things are often the first to forget how important it is to keep being vocal and keep fighting i feel like it's very easy and very comfortable um and it's it's easy to forget how important it is to have everybody being loud and being vocal and being supportive of people th who need it the most um but i i just i i don't want to do the thing where i just go like oh that's so i don't want to become desensitized to horrific behavior and language you know i want to continue to when i see it get mad and be like fuck this we don't support this we don't think this way no you know i just i and i know it's i know it's exhausting um, but also people who are constantly bearing the brunt of that and people who are always on the receiving end of that need help combating that. You know what I mean? I imagine how exhausting it is to be the, the subject of the conversation and also have to be hearing and seeing it all the time. Um, 
<clears throat> to me the title is so one let's say i got it at costco dude t soldier i bought this at costco i was walking down the aisle and i, I don't even know i like read some something called to me the lego gods like pushed me into the aisle <laughs> that day or something because i like turned the corner i was like i was looking for something that was in a completely different part of the store and i just turned down the aisle for god knows what reason and i saw her and i was like oh you're coming home with me yes yes Dude, thanks. I, I appreciate that, Liz. And I'm very grateful to have a community of people who um, cares a lot as well and 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 wants to listen and wants to participate in these conversations. And I'm just doing the best that I can to use the platform that I have to like reach as many people as possible. I want to like share words and sentiment and, and energy and ideas from people who have often been overlooked and not heard um, as much as I can, you know. Oh, Megs, thank you. Don't don't make me cry, bestie. Stop it. I, I love this community so damn much. <clears throat> just an ally, friend, and supporter. I'm exhausted. Can't imagine the level. Exa yeah, exactly, Tiger. It's 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 just wild, you know. And like, I'm I'm ready though. I'm like, I'm gonna bring the same amount of energy that y'all like all this hate the 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 hateful energy that you're bringing. I'll go ahead and match that with the opposite, you know. I'm gonna do my oh wait the way I just scrolled right past that as I'm pulling out the pieces to do the next section like <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me uh you're coming up with me looking for eggs and magic ah, it's what I'm saying like I went in there for toilet paper and I walked out with a new lego set imagine how does this happen it's crazy oh wait are there shorter mm-hmm girl there are shorter smaller versions that fit in that circle and the one that i just pulled is not it see this is why i pull the pieces and check them and it's going on the outer thing right it's like lined up with that yeah okay excuse me sorry because i just do be making mistakes you know it's literally pictures and i can't freaking read okay that looks correct I will just leave those there because I know we're going to need them eventually to build yeah, the next part. Okay, we will set her aside for just a moment. We will grab our, this is like a thicker, yeah, okay. This guy and a little gray guy that goes on top right there. Putting acquired, oh hell yeah. Oh, you went back and it was sold out? Oh no, you know, they might, they'll, they'll probably have it on their website. They have a lot of um, their collections available, obviously, you know, barring them being uh, sold out as well online. But that was a really intelligent thing that I just said. You can get them online is the TLDR, TLDR of what I was just saying, but I said it in a really ridiculously silly way. Uh, the nips are facing out, right? Yes. Nips out. You're doing amazing, sweaty. I'm going to put the other blue piece in as well. There we go. Flip her around. Yes. Tuxedo cat build. Oh my God, that would be so cute. Adorable. All right, and then we need two of the white half pieces. Four of the blue half pieces. Oh, I'm dinging. I'm ding-donging on the build bowl. And then... Lou, thank you for the Prime Gaming for Gamers. Welcome back for 11 months. Appreciate you. Thank you for your continued support of the stream. The very... And these guys, are they, are they like quad nips? Oh, yeah. Every side nip. Let's go. I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right one because like, yeah, it looks like there's a... Yeah, okay. I want to make sure I wasn't getting pieces that only had the nips on the one side. What's up, Luxart? How are you? Okay, so we're going to do... Oh, yeah, this is kind of like a... This is like a similar thing, just different piece colors. Um, Two of those together. Two of these. And then the white half piece. Wait, this might click. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a nice, I feel like those half pieces are like a very, a lot of times do a pretty satisfying click. Hold on. Oh yeah. And then these guys go 
on the blue like that right they're like kind of yeah stunning what a quad nip i think we are and we are entering like utter territory there yeah <laughs> utterly ridiculous ridiculous why did my zoom just like cancel <laughs> first day streaming folks welcome um okay yeah i don't know why that just the zoom said nah i'm actually good <laughs> no thank you i'm tired i'm too tired okay we need our little stair pieces it's like four of those guys and then four of the shiny telephone these are the gold pieces that are like part of the little stripe accent on the decorative pot i don't know it's like i can't tell if it's if you guys can see that very well they're super pretty okay we need off four Ciao. four red long boys boys first birthday today giving me a special cheese treat though i saw so cute liz cheese tax cheese tax i mean it's it's to be paid right it's an essential it's an essential item okay yeah chico loves whenever i make an omelet because he's like mm-hmm it is time. Mother will drop the shredded cheese onto the floor. Okay, and then the last four. It looks like the last four of these nip pieces come out as well. Okay. So it's gray, two of the nip pieces, and then a gray on each of the... And it's what, one on the end? Yeah, one little extra piece on the end there. Ooh, holds on wait ah, love her mm, that was a delicious snap okay and then two of our little stippy steps on either side oh girl she does not she does not want to cooperate hello girl wait okay there we go and then the telephone pieces oh i'm missing the the white piece on the top there hold on oh yes okay and then she goes on there and she goes on there and i think that is correct does she look correct she looks correct let's get the other one going a little shredded cheese fancy boy dude he loves it but listen he's just like his mama he's down for any cheese like girl i'm not gonna say no to a little slice of american I'm not going to say no to, to a fancy, expensive cheese from the good part of the store, you know, from the fancy part of the store. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on board for all of it. Like, I'm in. Sign me up. It's cheese, baby. I'm a simple man. I see cheese, I eat it. You know? Pop loved a whole craft. Dude, the craft. You know what I just learned recently? Um... Oh, and I'm going to like, not like the, 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 <laughs> the gigantic newspaper company that shall not be named that also has a cooking thing and lots of games. I'm not going to name it. I did see it on their reps, uh, on their like cooking page was one of their recipes. They're on strike right now. They're like tech department basically like left, um, cause they want like equal pay and a whole bunch of other stuff so they're striking so i'm not playing any of those games or using that particular uh, recipe resource at the moment um but i did see um a recipe on there that was like less of a recipe and more of like a dope thing that people just decided to share with like the cooking community at large and it is adding slices of american cheese to instant ramen and i've seen like my fair share of you know ramen hacks and all that good stuff um tiktok had a whole bunch of them you know for a while of like doctoring up like ramen sauces and packets and doing kipi mayo and all that but um doing and you can even you know you can throw in like a like when it's done cooking just crack an egg into it to have it soft boil you can just kind of like pull the noodles over it and let it soft boil the egg in there but dude adding a lick like a little pat of butter slice of american cheese oh my god and it's like um i think the guy that originally shared the recipe or shared the like the hack was um a korean guy and he's like this is like our comfort food like this is just like a 
like if you want to eat i don't know like my comfort food growing up was like grits like eggs and grits and cheese or something but like this this particular thing is like mm, it's so good it's so so good yes liz yes what's up akuma oh uh, yeah i like blue cheese actually blue cheese and tomato soup is like a very weirdly good combination um but yeah you're scared of soft boiling but you love the idea of dropping an egg into things dude you got this gem jewel i believe in you Louisa, welcome back and thank you very much for 28 months with the Feral fam. Thank you for manifesting a wonderful week for us. Same to you, Bestie. We appreciate you. This looks incredibly complicated, but it really is like not. That's like, that's cool. Like I would be done with the build here. Like this is, I'm fine with that. You know, this is cool. Like I'm good. Build Legos. Hi, Fwed. Potato bread is fantastic. You know who makes really good potato rolls? Is it Mar Martin's? has really good potato rolls one of my favorite like local burger places that unfortunately shut down as a result of the pandemic uh used potato rolls for their burgers and damn they were good unless that is not what you mean and i'm talking about something completely different because i'm silly but yeah potato rolls and potato bread is banging comfort food is oh dude a marie gallander's chicky pot pie girl and listen to me wait the 45 to 50 extra minutes to good to do it in the oven i'm telling you like if you know you're about to be hungry in an hour pop a marie's in the oven like girl this shit is next level Ugh, oven is peak and like because you know like microwave chicken gets like weird <gasps> sachi put it in your mouth <laughs> Sachi, hi, I love you. I miss you. Can we get a caster shout out for Versachiko, please? But dude, I'm telling you, the American cheese and the ramen, get into it. Like, I, it might sound sacrilege. I did not make this up. A Korean person told me to do this. So don't come for me, okay? I'm not trying to do a disservice to any, to any foods. <laughs> we are building the, what did I do with the box? The Lego Plum Blossom. And she is beautiful. We're currently working on the base. The pot. Very fancy. Um, okay, so I am very scared because it kind of flexes weirdly when I press on it like that. So I'm just going to hold it in my hands to attach these because I need to put pressure on like the backside to not fuck this up. Been enjoying all the Day of the Dead bread. Oh my God, yes. The All of like the, the Dia de los Muertos stuff is like incredible. I love like conchas. And that style of like all those sweetbreads are like unbelievably good. I also just cannot, I think I told you guys already, like it started before Halloween, but all of the people doing like the um like ofrenda videos on TikTok, and in particular all of the like ofrenda videos for their mascotas for like all their pets. Get me out of here. I am not emotionally strong enough for this. Like, girl, <laughs> I'd be sobbing on TikTok every day. All I do is cry on that app. Are you okay, baby? Goodness. Can you can you just take a look at this dog for a moment? Have you seen a more perfect creature? Look at him. My God, he's just a baby. He's such a baby. Yeah, he's blending in with the environment. <laughs> he's camouflage. He's just ridiculous, dude. Okay, I think this is good. I think we did it. I'm scared, but I think we're good. Okay, and then we need three of these. Wait, what? Girl, wait. Oh, they just had it in two separate steps. Excuse me? Confusion to the maximum. Anyway, we'll set that aside now. Anyway, also, I don't know if, um, did I like, I think I, I don't know if I actually said it out loud or if anyone actually did it, but. We're doing a little Sachi Co shout out. There we go. Oh my. I think he's got like some allergy thing going on. He's relax maxing. He is. Um, okay, I'm looking for these guys, the dark gray pieces. Five of them to be exact. Oh yeah, I'm 100 percent I feel like every time anyone has ever asked me that in chat, Fred, I always say 100 percent but like I'll remind you as many times as, as you need to be reminded that pizza is an anytime always yes food. If anyone even thinks about it, it's like you know the answer already. You know what I mean? But I'm happy to like reaffirm that and encourage you to do your best. Um 
it's ridiculous becca the the pedal friendas are like get out of here i saw one where i can't even say it because i'm just gonna start crying i saw one where they had um and this was an older one too i'm pretty sure this was last year two years ago they had one with the ofrenda like where they used to have the pet bowls i can't i got it and they had a trail of the the um marigold petals going out through the doggy door into the girl no i can't i can't even keep saying it but you get the idea <laughs> you get the idea um because i can't say it um like the sweetest the sweetest got you a pepe so good from this way oh Okay, Cadre and Pepe, though, is like, I feel like you could make that really well. And I know you could, like, you could fuck up a pizza, too. Like, I know John knows how to cook, and I know you can cook. Um, like, I know you could you could also probably make a banging pizza, but I feel like pizza is, like, harder to make on your own in, like, a good way. You know what I mean? But I feel like Cadre and Pepe is, like, that's pretty, you could do that pretty easily. They all cold pizzas at Breakfast of Champions. You can't change my mind. I've never been a cold pizza guy. I get it. And I and I I'm not like dismissive of the of the art of consuming a cold pizza. It's just never really been my thing. I definitely prefer the hot, melty, cheesy moment of the fresh pizza, the fresh za, you know, leggies. Uh, hi. Shitty cold pizza is only good when you're hungover. <laughs> and like it's I've I've been in in a moment of like a like a desperation meal, and I've eaten. There are actually some things that I do prefer, like cold leftovers, which five years ago, if I heard myself say this, I would, I would like jump, but there are actually some things that I do prepare, that I do prepare, that I do prefer, um, as like cold leftovers. Y'all go show some love and kindness to Auntie Alyssa. Love seeing all the offenders this year. I, it's like, it's too, it's too, it's too much. It's too emotional. Cold coffee bangs. I'm with you on that. No, like I'm, I'm actually with you on that. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit weird about that as well. And like, I might actually be like dismissed from anyone from the UK ever like wanting to hear me speak again, but I will fuck up a cold cup of tea as well. Like if my cup has gone cold, I'm not reheating that shit. I'm just going to drink it as is. Like, I know that's like a, maybe a cardinal sin. And I apologize to everyone out there who might be incredibly distressed to hear me say that, but like, you know. chicken wings cold yeah i there like there's a there's a mediterranean place that does like really good like chicken and rice and veggie bowls that i just i will eat that shit frozen it's just so good like i don't care next day right out of the fridge i'm not bothering to heat that shit up you know we're going in as is oh i'm not on the thing i was like why is this not scrolling there we go <clears throat> real for <person>. saying <laughs> You only heat up your coffee, it's over half a Yeah, it's like, it's like, what's the, what's the ROI here? You know, like, what is the risk reward situation here? Like, how desperate am I to have this be piping hot? Like, do I really need it? Or are we like, are we going to make it? You know, we're going to survive this. I need warm food. Culturally, my body is not adapted to cold food. I love that. <sighs> Can't do cold pizza. I got to put the vision in the air. Yeah, like, and that's my thing. Mira, Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta help people understand. And I do know, like, trust me when I say I do understand ease of the thing, accessibility, whatever. Some people don't have the energy to do stuff a certain way. And I completely understand that. But if you do like do yourself the favor when you're reheating something like, um, like fried rice or even like a pasta. And again, I might be sacrilege for saying this, but like put heat that bitch up on the stovetop. Don't do it in the microwave. If you're going to reheat pizza, put it in the damn oven or an air fryer, put it in the oven. It doesn't take that long and it will taste the same as when you had it. What you can fry up rice, you can just throw a little butter or oil into a pan, put a couple, if you if you need to kind of rehydrate it or everything's a little dry or whatever, you can throw a little more soy sauce in there, whatever you have, whatever you want. Pasta, I just throw a little pat of butter into the pan and like a tiny, teensy little smidge of water to kind of reactivate and like loosen up the sauce and rehydrate the nudes a little bit. Get out of here. It's the same as when you ate it the fucking first day. Like, it's so good. Get into it. You know? So easy. The only food I enjoy the best cold is leftover pad thai. No, because I'm like that about weird bowls of stuff. Like, I totally get like a, like a, a noodle thing being like one of those options. 
What's up, Mr. Tenenbaum? It's like, yeah, dude, using an oven, using a, it's just, it's, it's, it works out so much better. I promise. And again, I know like some people are like, yeah, no shit. This is not a revelatory thing, but I'm just saying like, if you, if you have a couple more minutes and a clean pot or pan to throw onto the stove, get into it, spare yourself the agony of weird shit being heated up in the microwave. Right past the second day. So get, yes, lesbian. Yes. Absolutely. How long did I put the pizza in the oven? Um, I literally just put it in the oven, depending on how like lazy or weird I'm feeling. Anywhere between 300 and 350 degrees. I just put, I put aluminum foil or like a sill pad on a cookie sheet, put the slices that I want, put them in the oven. And then after like eight to 10 minutes, I just go stick my finger in the cheese. And if it's hot and melted, then I take it out. Like, I don't even have like a, you know, yeah. Throwing a hot dog in the mic. Oh, and like, this is what I mean though. Like, let me be clear. Let me be clear. A snack that I love, and you can roast me alive for this, is cutting up a hot dog and pulling apart a slice of American cheese onto each of the little pieces. Like I cut it into eight little pieces and then I fold the craft slice of American cheese into eight little pieces. I put them on the top of the hot dog and I put it in the microwave and I microwave it for like 15 seconds until the cheese is melted. And then I eat that bitch with a fork. And that's what I used to eat as a snack as a child because we don't always have a lot of money for food. It's like a whatever, you know? Sometimes you just eat a hot dog out of the microwave. Who cares? You know, like I'm not, again, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live their life. Hold on, I gotta turn on the... <clears throat> okay. Biggest game changer leftover is air fryer. Yeah, but people have said air fryers are really good. You know what's great too? Excuse me, I have a... My rice cooker has a reheat function on it, which is stunning. Fuck with cold chili. I kind of get that actually. Put slices on a baking sheet and broil it. Oh yeah, that that will get the cheese nice and melty and kind of brown up but, and the crust will be nice and crisp but yeah you got to be really <laughs> that's like that's like the the equivalent like cooking a, a reheating a pizza on a broil is like the equivalent of like the moment that you have like the five seconds that you have to eat an avocado when it's ripe you know what i mean like you got to time that perfectly <laughs> toast white bread with an american cheese on the bread and microwave it and i love that for you yeah that's grilled cheese i love that you know absolutely Oh yeah, we would eat, we would have bread and butter, Sherry. That's like untoasted. I just put butter on bread, fold it in half and eat it like that. That's my, that's my snack. If I wanted to be f fancy, I would toast the bread, put the butter on it and then do a little, a little like, we had a little container of cinnamon sugar mixed up, like pre, pre-mixed, sprinkle that on cinnamon toast, period. Banging. If I didn't have actual dessert, that's what I would have as dessert. Bread and butter is kind of elite though, but like... I'm telling you actual like okay so my bread and butter as a child was just normal like wonder bread type bread and just butter that's been sitting on the counter too long and that but like as an adult I find myself being like you know what French baguette and Kerrygold it's the same fucking thing but I'm just doing like a more advanced version <laughs> like I still fuck with really good butter on really good bread like that's a vibe anyway I love a toaster oven too Chris sandwiches or thing as a kid. Oh, I love that, Stancy. See, I was never, I was never like a sucking down a ketchup packet girly, but I do get that. Do a little bologna slice in the microwave with cheese on top. Oh, see, even to, I mean, to this day, I would fuck up a fried bologna sandwich. And I know some people think that is so disgusting, but I'm into it. I'm into a little, a little bologna moment. Is this really gonna, this is gonna work? I feel like, oh. Y'all. Butter French toast, throw cinnamon sugar on it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I already have cinnamon sugar in the damn thing, you know? It's basically one big hot dog. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be like this is this is like oh. <gasps> ah! Oh my god, that was so nice. That that was mm. That was nice. 
I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the assembly of that particular <laughs> moment. That was so good. I love how I'm like, this is going to be a chill short stream. And I'm over here like screaming about assembling my little Lego pot. Anyway. Oh my God, Holly, I love that for you. I've never made um, my own butter before, but I feel like that'd be really fun. I feel like I'm also too way too lazy for that. I don't feel like I have the, the arm strength to do that. I mean, I don't know if you're out there like actually churning the butter or you're using like some kind of mechanical magical device to ease, ease the process, but make the process easier. Mayo and bacon grease with grilled cheese. Oh, bacon grease is like, come on. Yes. All the time. Went to lunch with my parents. Dad had a BLT with fried bologna. Yeah, because he's true and correct. Thank you. Isn't it nuts, T Soldier? Like, it's so impressive. Put some toothpicks in it to be fancy. Just roll up a little. Oh, dude, I ro if I'm not feeling like I want to make, like, I'm not in the mood for a sandwich craft. If I'm like, dude, I don't care. You know, there are days when I'm like, I'm making, I'm taking my homemade pesto and I'm mixing it with a little bit of mayo, putting it on my sandwich, loading it all up and then pressing it and then eating. You know what I mean? And I'm doing like a whole thing. And then there are other days where I'm like, I'm going to take this, like probably past the point of it being edible slice of turkey and some stinky ass provolone cheese. And I'm going to slap them together and just roll it up and then eat that bitch as is, you know, like sometimes we don't, sometimes we don't care. Sometimes we don't have the time or the energy for all that, you know, and that's okay. Uh, is this the same on both sides? Yes, it is. Okay. So, oh, so good. So good. You know what I was thinking about the other day that I haven't had in a while? And again, I'm not like a, I'm not like nuts for bacon. Like I like bacon, but I'm not like absolutely crazy about it. Um, but I was thinking about bacon wrapped asparagus the other day and I was like, oof. I need that at some point in my life, like soon, I feel. That was more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. Okay, hold on. Is this correct? <laughs> I think it's correct, but that's what I'm saying, Aaron. It's charcuterie, okay? Oh, Stanzi, I am going to be having more pesto tonight. I'm making chicken pesto um, meatballs and having pesto pasta. Shirkuchi. Did it just, did Automod, <laughs> did Automod just say no to Kuchi? Automod, it's okay. Ah! Incredible. Sorry, that was another unbelievably fantastic and satisfying assembly moment. Mm. Oh my God, I love her. Like, I'd be fine if this were the end of the build. I'd be like, cool. I don't have to do anything else. This is fantastic. You know? Bacon and pepper jack grilled cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, these guys go in here. You had dinner, but it's right. I mean, it's right there though. Uh, you know, like it's right there. That's all I'm saying. That's all we're all saying. And then the other, oh, I'm excited about this too. Yes. Look how stinking perfect this is. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, we've got some extra pieces I'm gonna pop out and store in my super fancy little Ikea cork coaster extra pieces will be in there okay bag number two we're gonna set her right here oh i don't think i did any uh bag asmr earlier are we ready for the crinklies mm-hmm Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, Liz. You can sub whatever you again, the one the one tooth that I pull, that little perforation, that little like serrated part that I pulled just would not let go. It's the second time I've done that. These bags said no thank you. We hate you.
What are these? Are these like crowns? These are cool. What makes you have to be what? What makes you cough, Aaron? Oh, the ASMR. <laughs> That's so funny. You used to have a sandwich that was roast turkey, Granny Smith apples, mozzarella cheese, cranberry jam, and arugula. Oh. Yeah, I fucking ascended reading that description. Hello? Dude, I love an apple. I love an apple. And then I love an apple with cheese. I remember I was eating apples and cheese as a snack on stream one time and someone was like, that is so gross. And I was like, fruit and cheese is gross? I was like, what? It's actually wonderful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my God. It was so funny. They were like, ew, that's nasty. I was like, is it though? Like, I don't, I don't think it is, but wait, am I wild or nope? Those are the same color. It's just like super duper dark brown. Okay. I know. I'm like, have you heard of Charcucci? Like get your shit together, bestie. Like you're disowned from being millennial for saying that. Sorry. You know, apples and cheese is so good. Oh yeah, like a melted slice of cheddar cheese on top of a, a slice of apple pie. I have never tried that actually, but I absolutely the fuck would. Like I, I get it. Like I feel like that could work. But I do understand people being like resistant to that particular situation. Even though I don't really like hot fruit, which I know makes me a lunatic. Like I wish I I wish that I was a hot fruit girly, but I'm I, I struggle sometimes with it. Yeah, like in like a turnover or like a pastry or like a pie. I don't I don't always love like fruit pies and things like that. It depends on what it is. Um okay. Do, 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 do. It's all about the salty and sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're our hot fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Becca, stop! Uh, I'm dead. That's so funny. Okay. Is this... Am I true? Is this like a thing or am I wild? And Okay, no, that's right. Just to make sure Kitty reports confirm the fake jam child is thinking she's in a crowd. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, there's not a whole lot. Like, I am... And I'm the kind of guy who's like, I'm going to try anything. At, like one time you know what I mean like even if it's not a thing that I'm typically like super interested in I'm gonna give it a chance and especially if it was made by somebody who knows a lot more about the culinary experience and like good flavor combinations than I do which is admittedly almost everyone um like I'm gonna give it a shot I'm not gonna say no I might not like it but I'll try I love Gouda mm. she does not want to go in there okay there we go you guys can see what I'm doing, right? I'm not doing the thing where I start pulling it toward me and you can't see. Let me make sure. Okay, and then she goes here. Oh, fellas, keeping track of this is gonna be a little difficult for me, I think. Especially because I already messed it up because I just did the wrong. Thing. Oh, it's supposed to be two of those segments. That's why. I was like, where did I go wrong? Are there any foods I wouldn't try? Like, honestly, not really. <laughs> I don't think. Um, every time I've been fortunate enough in my in my travels to come across something interesting and unusual, I've pretty much gone for it. Like, I don't think there's I don't think there's anything I wouldn't try. Um I don't know, maybe on like an ethical basis if there's something that I'm just like, yeah, I'm not interested in that, but I can't think of much. She goes. I think that's that's true because we were missing that top like try piece. I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know. It looks right. Oh man, I'm too dumb for this. Oh Lord. 
maggot cheese like if it if if someone could convince me that the flavor was something that like i needed to experience then probably a thing okay and here's what i will say there's stuff that i've tried that i wouldn't eat again um like when i was in iceland i tried the fermented shark and it was just truly a horrible experience both in flavor and mouthfeel it was just bad like you know like i just i didn't enjoy it so like i'm not gonna eat that again because i didn't like it at all it was like pungent and horrible and i i didn't like it um but yeah like i mean if there's something that someone wants me to try because they think that it's like a culinary experience that i couldn't get in any other way then sure i mean dude cheese is mold like i, I don't care you know <laughs> i'll eat i'll eat some some worms or some shit i've also eaten bugs like a few times so I don't, it doesn't really bother me but i'm not really like queasy in that way i guess okay i think we're like actually doing this that looks right right like that looks like the the photo yeah for sure liz like so i mean some things like that yeah it's a little like i don't know if, if i don't know man i've eaten some crazy stuff though so like I'm not really in a position to judge and some of that stuff is also like culturally significant and stuff that I don't feel prepared to be like this is like I, I don't know you know that's a conversation for another time realizing that I may be quite a picky eater I have safe foods and I kind of don't really stray outside that well I mean like all that said like I'm certainly not the most like day-to-day -day adventurous eater um if I go to like a restaurant that I've been to before and there is a dish that I like there I probably will order that a lot um like almost every time you know what I mean it's like I'm not I'm not a supremely like like I'm not all I'm not constantly you know all the time uh trying crazy stuff I have things that I like and things that I eat pretty regularly um but yeah I mean like when I'm when I'm out and about I try to be open to as much excuse me as I as I possibly can be but there's also nothing wrong with like sticking to the stuff that you know and like you know like i'm not gonna fault somebody for that are these lighter brown versions because i think there's a darker brown nipple in here somewhere where's the dark brown nip or am i wild and is it really only that lighter color oh i guess it is it is the lighter color the same subway order since we were 10. yep a disgusting amount of mayonnaise turkey and provolone lettuce and spinach i'm a very simple man with my subway sandwich i don't get too crazy and a little bit of yellow mustard does that go on like normally or do we flip it okay yeah okay that piece looks pretty good i think we did it creating a little branch situation here I think you guys can see that pretty well. Hi, Nick. Welcome to the stream. Chicken fingers at every restaurant gang unite. Okay, I'm not that, I'm not quite that stringent in my <laughs> in my orders, but I do stray here and there every once in a while. But like chicken nuggies are great, but like there's other really good kinds of chicken out there, you know. Okay. Oh my god, 10 of them. All right. All the little gray little nub things. We are building the plum blossom set. I have that in my stream title, right? Like am I a crazy person or did I remember to add that? Okay. 2 4 6 8 9 10 control <clears throat> um it looks like they're all in this like on this side oh dude chicken pot pie is so good and it's like not as dude when i i've made them a couple times homemade to be fair i didn't do the i didn't do the um did i just drop that piece oh it landed on my shirt thank god um to be fair i didn't do the actual pie crust like the shell i didn't make 
I just did like the the filling from scratch and did all that stuff and cooked the chicken, did all the veg, blah blah blah. Um, but it's like surprisingly like simple. I'm not as I'm not super super confident about pie crust. And I'm not confident about breads. We've had that conversation. I feel pretty pretty confident cooking quite a few things, but that's those that scare me a little bit. Oh no, you're you're totally fine, tea soldier. I just wanted to make sure that I actually remembered to put it there. Cause I do not always remember to give the information. Sometimes I forget. No, you're fine, Adams. Did clean kitchen today, rug cleaner delivered today, today. I mean, they got a dry, right? Or is it like a dry thing? Like if it's like a if it's like a dry clean thing and you can just like vacuum up the little like some of them is just like a powder that you like scrub in and then vacuum up but if it's like wet then i don't know i mean maybe it'd be better to let them dry overnight because the animals i don't know i don't know what i would do yeah pie crust is difficult <laughs> it scares me <laughs> what's up claire we're making a little plum blossom here i think that's i think we did it like i think we're sauced I think we're doing it to them oh cute oh my god i'm excited i love these little pieces the little like flower pieces are so stinking cute i mean if you're like if you know how to do it i'm sure it is holly but it's intimidating as fuck for for me i just do it tomorrow because you can you can wear honey i love that I think that's a fantastic idea. Wear her around like a little perfect, cute little accessory. Gotta go babysit. Yes, thank you, Kat. Thank you for the vibes this evening. Love you, appreciate you. Have a great rest of your night. Happy babysitting. Okay, and then we need two more of these guys. And three of the little... Dude, no, I'm not Gem Jewel. I forget steps all the time. I go back. Like, what were we doing? Was it the chrysanthemum or was it the roses set? When I like, I saw something in the build guide and I, and I was like, how was that piece there? I was like, oh, I just straight up missed an entire segment. Like, I, <laughs> it's literally just pictures. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Skip that whole part. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Rachel, I do. I have them all over my house. I have a lot of like um, shelf space and um like counter slash like dresser space oh poor honey yeah like puff pastry is so intimidating to me that's like so scary to me it was the roses set where i like oh sorry i like skipped an entire this is why i lifted my mic remember when i also said that that last time i adjusted where my microphone position was because i kept punching it while i was doing the build yeah there you go Case in friggin' point. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And then we're capping off these other three. This is so cool. The way this has taken shape, so, so like it looked so wild to begin with. It kind of looks like a little molecule. It looks like a little chemistry moment for a sec. Okay, so then we attach her. I guess it doesn't super matter, but I'm going to put her on this like front thing. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. I like it. Okay. We're going to keep her over there. And then we need more of our, oh, I might just like, I might do this on these like separately and then attach them because I'm nervous to mess up the like positioning of them. Okay, so it looks like they're going on this arm. Val is calling you. Answer the call. Do it. And they want the blossom like thing facing out, right? Yeah. Because it looks like they're all kind of positioned on the same two little spindles, but they're adjusted and like rotated around on the tree. That looks like how they have it because it's the two like little spindles that look almost like they form a horizontal line facing me and then the little trio at the top yeah that looks good 
That looks good. Oh, I guess it is like an even. Oh, yeah, it is. OK, it's the same both ways. I didn't realize it was just three and three spread out like that. So mini, so tiny. I love these little these little flower pieces are just so friggin cute. I don't want to push down too far. Like I'm like kind of just pushing to like it touching my fingertip. That's what they look like. Okay, and we need cuatro for this part. Lovely. Sometimes the FPS game calls you have to answer for me. Unfortunately, it's COD. You're brave. You're a brave soldier. Ooh. I could never. I I mean, I truly like, I think about Valorant all the time. I just, she scares me most days. I'm like, I don't have the mental energy for this. I'm really bad. I'm, I try really hard to just do mandatory fun and not care. But sometimes I'm just like, God, I suck at this game and it pisses me off so bad. And I really wish I weren't like that, but here we are. Okay, she goes, let me see if I can kind of show. Dude, Fortnite's actually so fun right now though. Okay, so these can all be like kind of rotated different ways, but I do, I need to, I need to play with you and just like goof off and have a good time. I feel like you're very good at like bringing the the vibes of just enjoying and relaxing and not getting all worked up. I will make you fit. Oh, that is not what I meant when I said I do have to play with you. I'm not in agreement with that statement. I am I am in agreement with the fact that you bring good vibes, not that you make me look good. Get out of here. I I I reject that. I reject that. Okay, this one goes, how do they, okay, it's kind of like that. I'm realizing that like part of the reason why I suck shit at art is because perspective is just not a thing that I'm like clear on. I'm looking at this and I'm like, what is that? I suck at perspective. <laughs> I think that's good. This is super cute. I think, we, I think we're doing it, you know? No, that's so true. I and I totally get that. Um, lesbian is just like that game is so reliant on on comms that I just feel it's like it's like so shitty because I'm like, am I gonna feel bad about not calming when like I would say seventy percent of the time it's a negative experience? Like, like that sucks. It sucks to have to to have to choose. It's not your fault that people are shitty, you know. And I don't blame you at all not wanting to put yourself through that. Like that's just frustrating. Um, spatial brain stuff is very complex. I just feel like a dang dong. I'm like, I don't know how the hell. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know how to do it. Oh, is that? That is the dark brown. It's so dark in here. It looks like the pieces is black, not dark brown. And I'm like, I'm panicking because I'm thinking I'm pulling the wrong pieces. But I don't see another piece that looks like that. So I think we're in the clear. I reject your reality and I substitute my own. I love him. I think I've gotten pretty good at doing that. Maybe since like 2016, I would say. <laughs> Something like that. There's ways to rehab it. I just say a brain injury receiver complex, lots of systems to work in conjunction. Yeah, totally fair. And you're true. Yeah, I can't. And I feel like it's also pretty, like, pretty shadowy in here. My light isn't super, like, clear on my desk. Is that like a. I have to keep it at this angle because I don't want it casting a ton of shadow on my face from the camera that I have. And I don't want it being like super aggressive and intense lighting, but it also, I need you guys to be able to see what I'm doing as well. Um, this guy just kind of like sits on there. Is that what's happening? Is that right? Oh yeah. Okay. And then we need, oh, I need three of those guys. Is it just the regular brown, like little nip cap things? Yeah. I didn't pull the pink pieces yet, but I'm just going to pop those on as we go. Okay. I'm going to scooch her back a little. So we've got our little wand, this little doodad, 
the nip going on top and then that going into it. Um, okay. And then we're gonna add, it's okay, okay, Gem Jewel, thank you. And then I'm gonna add my little, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to do it while it's attached. I need to do them when they're not on there. I'm going to just do it the same way that they did the other ones, just like popping them on the the top. Like so. Then that one can go into the top. Lovely. Can you see her? My flower wand. OK, and then we do a little claw piece on a nip. Flip it and stick it and see you later. Bye. Okay, then we gotta do the little blossoms on here before I attach it because I'll never get it on there if I don't. Actually, these it might be easier to do the. Oh no, because it goes in the same way. Yeah, that's easy enough to do. How do they kind of like have them lined up? Is it? It's sort of like that, I think. Yeah, that looks good. What's all this then? <laughs> Hello, Latina. Welcome in. How are you? Oh, you're adopting a new kitty? That's exciting. We love oh, a little shit. adoption oh, moment. Man. Liz, thank you for the 1.5k biddies. Can we get some love in the chat, please, for the cheer? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the top spot. On the bench board, bits board, leaderboard. Where is the other? There it is. There it is. Okay. Popping this guy on there. Oh, I'm so sorry, Holly. God, that's tough. In the same month. Damn. That sucks. I'm very sorry for your loss. Okay, do I have that attached? I think I have that attached right. Cream sickle, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, and then it looks like they just kind of tell you to pop them on wherever. Does that one go above? Are they both above like the notch? It looks like it, but it's kind of hard for me to tell. Yeah, it looks it looks like it. It looks like they're both kind of chilling, sort of like equidistant from the two little notch moments I'm scooting it up a little bit oh I hear the water buffalo going Chico is going to town in there that's so pretty what a what a pretty little branch like it's such a simple thing but I love that. oh Holly god that sucks well I hope that the the acquisition of the creamsicle works out because that would be lovely okay and then oh and then she goes up top in the last little spindle here oh lord that was scary oh i was like so nervous i was gonna mess mess up the entire structure i felt like i was pushing too hard she's taller than i thought she was gonna be oh my god okay she's a little taller than i thought they're probably annoying the shit out of each other in heaven, as is their their God given right. Oh, that's so funny. That's their job, you know. Okay, three of those pieces that I can't even begin to explain. Bud pieces, three little balloons, and three of the little like rose little cup flower pieces oh my god this is gonna be so pretty are you joking okay so this goes into this first and then our balloon goes in y'all get out of here i also feel like the color combinations that they do are just so stunning oh my god i love it i know the pot is so beautiful i like i'm obsessed with all of them aaron the color schemes and all of the combinations that they do for all of these botanical sets are like 
stunning. Okay, there's number two. Mishko is so cute. I love that. No, he's literally never seen a water bowl combat. Like this dog has not, he doesn't have access to clean fresh water all day, every day. It's not, it's not in the cards for him. Just like he's never seen kibble, never had one piece of food in his life. Okay, so it's two pretty close to each other and then one at the bottom of that notch, it looks like. So this one goes here. And then this one goes right next to that one. And then it's kind of, it looks like it's kind of rotated like that. These, again, this is like a thing that you can just adjust at any point. Like, I think you can turn these to be like however you want. But that, sorry, I keep banging my watch on the, it just makes me want Taco Bell. <laughs> it sounds like the little gong of the Taco Bell bell every single time. And it makes me want Taco Bell. I know, isn't it such a stunning combo, Liz? It's like, it's beautiful. They're so good at that. How dare they? Like, come on now. Okay. Um. Next slide, please. Oh, yes. Oh, we're going to get to build a little, a blossom. Okay, so we need one of these guys. Oh, we're making three of them. Okay, perfect. Let's get everything out and ready. Path flops, ties, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then I'm just going to like lay everything out so I don't lose track of what I'm doing here. And then are these, oh, wait, you know what I just realized? Some of these might have been red. Some of these might have been red and I've been using, are these red or pink? Girl, I can't even tell in this light. Nope, those are pink. Oh my God, I'm losing it. I was like, are there red ones? Because I'm going to lose my shit. There aren't. I'm just, it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> I just panicked because I thought I was using the wrong blossom pieces on all the rest of the set, but that's just a darker pink than the, the like circle piece. Oh, well, I hope that you'll be able to take care of them and provide that love and kindness that they need. Oh, cool. I see what we're doing. We're going to flip it and then pop those guys into the little arms. Oh, this is neat. Okay, cool. So we're going to take these guys. We need four, I think four of each of these things for each one, right? Yeah, we'll do it one step at a time. We'll take our time with it. Okay, so let me flip this guy over and then each of these gets a little circle. These I'm probably gonna have to like retroactively move because I'm probably not gonna be able to line them up perfectly and like keep them lined up when I attach them, but we'll see. We will see. Bigger than I thought. That's like a bigger blossom than I thought it was going to be. That's really cool. Um, okay. Parent guess not for us. To be fair, my uh, my dog that gets fed on, a, on the same schedule every day and has done for his whole life um, acts like I have never once provided him with nourishment, sustenance of any kind. Number two, right there. And our third and final, well, for now, I think we're making more, but he's just wasting away over here, dude. Truly devastating existence for this boy. Lovely. And then we need four of these little pterodactyl wing looking pieces for each of our flowers. Yes. Okay. And then how do they want us to do this? They're kind of like 
Okay, I see. They're clipping on to, oh, I see, like to the little arm. <gasps> Wait, to make like a little, oh yeah. Excuse me, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, I love that. Love that. Oh, shit. I don't love that I can't seem to actually clip the damn thing on there. I guess I'm going to line it up with like, I don't know. I guess I'm going to just push it to like the edge of the thing right there. Kind of make that curve look natural. I think I'm putting these on here the right direction. Yeah. Oh, cheek. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're not done yet, but that is like the step that we're at right now. All right. Um, we fold them in to make a background for the, <gasps> shut the front door. Oh my God. That's so cool. <gasps> oh my God. That's so cool. Link is typing to you in his face. Hi, Leg. <laughs> oh, this is so neat. Okay. So then we attach our little arm here and then we do one more of these beautiful little flower cup things and then a crown in the center oh my god yes actually stunning actually so pretty look at that the way that the profile has the texture because of those little circular like circular pieces is so neat i love that i also love not having to be as particular about lining these up because i'm just gonna close them <laughs> That's very nice. So cool. Oh yeah, it's um his scab is finally gone, which is amazing. The skin is still like very sensitive where it's regrown. Um but his scab is gone. The skin is completely grown now, grown over, which is insanely awesome. Um, I'm still unsure on exactly what is going on with the other spot on his foot that looked a little weird, but it doesn't look like it's getting worse and it's not bothering him. So for now, I'm just keeping a close eye on it. Um, that's all I had to do, right? Close them, put this on the back, put that thing and then put the, yeah. Okay. Flower number two. But yeah, he is, um, it's like nothing ever happened. He's a champ. Okay. This part is like so fun. The, the folding part is so cool. I don't know. It's the best. He's a tank. He's a tank and a healer because he healed himself faster than anyone thought he was going to, which is just nuts. Miniature, how's oh, it's going to Dude, it's really fun, Keiki. You absolutely should. And there are lots of like small sets that you can start out with in case like anything that's larger or more complicated feels like a little intimidating. All kinds of good options out there. Okay, so then we attach these on. Oh, one of them is here. Oh, are there only three little, like three kind of open spaces? Okay, yeah. There are only a few open spots left on this. Oh, this is scary. Oh, I don't like this. Oof. Okay, we did it. It's in there. That scared the crap out of me. I want to rotate it, but it's like really difficult to do. Oh no, it's stuck on the little... It's stuck on the blossom. I might take that off for a second if I can get it out of there without messing everything else up. I want it to go like underneath that little, there we go.
It's like really hard to, oh no. It's like really hard to rotate these ones there on. But I'm gonna do my best to like make it look right. Do they do they have the actual things rotated in too? Cause they look like close, they look like closer to the You see what I'm saying? How the the flower looks like tighter. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm like explaining that well, but I'm trying to see if I can like rotate the, yeah, I think it is supposed to be tighter like that. Like, I think they're all supposed to be rotated in. They don't stay out like how I had them. Cause I was like, that flower doesn't feel like it fits on there well. Do you see what I'm saying? It looks like they're both, it looks like they've rotated both of them in. Yep. Because they're touching that like center part. There we go. I was like, it's not like, yeah, it's not like tight enough. It looks more substantial as well. Yeah. Okay. That looks correct. I was like, how are they getting this this close to this part of the blossom? It's like not wanting to go there. I was like, how did they do that? They're magical. I'm also afraid because these pieces are very, it's so difficult to push these in without kind of screwing up another part, but I think that's good right there. Oh, I just did it again. I have to not push there. I have to push like more from the center to line it up there we go i'm trying to like go again based on the kind of perspective that they have i'm gonna probably like rearrange it a little but and then one goes down here by this guy i don't know if they have it i think they have it facing up not the way i just did it Yeah, that looks better. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Look at that. I know, Pico, it's beautiful. All right, we can take our extra pieces, pop them in here, and open our final bag, bag number three, which is significantly smaller. Sorry if you have to cough, Aaron. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also, I need to go, I need to um, take a GPG break. I just realized I have not pizzed in a couple hours. I've been chugging water. Um, you did, I'm dead. <laughs> I love it. That's just so funny. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna GPG really fast. Um, and run a quick ad break uh, while I may have K, but I will be right back, y'all. If anyone needs to also use the use the restroom really quickly or grab a snack, stretch, take your meds, etc. Um, oh, thanks, Riley, for the for the kind words for the Pico. Good to see you. Welcome back to the chat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna GPG real fast. Um, do whatever you guys need to do as well. If you got to take a moment to take care of yourselves, please do so. I will be back in just a couple minutes.
help you. It's so crazy because it's not even close to time yet. Even with the time change. We're looking at like a like a 8 p.m. tops situation right now, bro. He's he's <laughs> he's like <laughs> like insert the the gif. Isn't it Judge Judy? She's like, that's literally that's literally what's happening right now. No, he's saying it's time for him to have dinner, and he is a liar. That was you, liar. He is... That is not what I meant to do. He is lying as fuck right now. It's been dark for hours. <laughs> Give me my damn food. Okay, so quick update for those who might just be joining us. We are building the Lego Plum Blossom set. It is gorgeous. It is stunning. The pot is literally my favorite part, I think, of the whole thing so far. Um, she is taller than I thought she was going to be. Um, and we are working on the last bag which I already put it. I was like, where's our thing? It's already in there. Um, oh, it's a whole other. Oh, yeah, duh. We have a whole other section for a branch. I was like, where is this going to go? I for, I was so distracted by this. I forgot there's an entire like second little spike that we're going to be building. He would like his first course. <laughs> exactly. Old Zwan. <clears throat> Please hold. I do two things at once, as you know. As you all know. All right. I think it's going to be like a very similar structure to the one that we did the first time. It might even be like just like flipped, like an identical kind of thing, just rotated a bit or not. Who knows? Find out more at 11. Okay. You know what I saw today? Oh, God, I, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about any more election stuff, but I saw this is funny. I promise. It's not depressing and horrible. Um, I saw a woman on TikTok say, and I can't believe I'd never heard this before. She said that for the next few days, it's airport rules. And I was like, what the fuck is airport rules? And she's like, if you want to have a drink at 9 a.m., I'm not saying I recommend it. I'm just saying it's your business. Like time, money, whatever else is no object to us at this juncture. Like you do whatever you need to do. <laughs> you do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. And I was like, that's very funny. I had never heard airport rules before. And I was like, that is legitimately hilarious. Like that is actually so funny. It's airport rules, baby. I don't make them. I just abide by them, you know? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. You're seeing Santa TikToks? That's kind of devastating, actually. Mariah's been defrosting for a while, is all I'm saying. Okay. This is, am I true? Like, this is, it's just like an even kind of like triangle moment right now. It's airport rules. Yeah. That's, it's so funny. That's like literally the perfect. I don't, I'm like, how in all of my like life and travels have I never heard that before? That is like actually so damn funny. And so real. Like, they're so real and true for that. Okay. I mean, yeah, Riley. Yeah. I think you should. Just a little treat for everyone. Need a ridiculously expensive little croissant to lift your mood? Treat yourself, babe. Treat yourself. Okay. Ugh, not this song. Exactly, Mandy. That's just that's just the economy. I'm just working around other people here. And in fact, I'm 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 a per, I'm a participating member, you know. I'm stimulating the economy with my purchases and my activities. You know. I'm gonna be at the airport for the next month. However long you need. Bye. Bye, Chico. Okay, um, yes, yes, beautiful. Looks good. I'm like, I love that they gave us a big picture and they're like, hey dummy. This is what it's supposed to look like. We're in. We did it. Okay. And then it looks like the same kind of principle, like one in each, one little um, doodad in each of the connections here. Oh, abs oh absolutely. I mean, and listen, this election very, very obviously and apparently has, uh, I mean, like any, but you know what I mean, 
has uh, significant glo global implications. So you're all invited to the party. We're all at the airport together, you know? Everyone gets a neck pillow. Wait, I actually love that. Dude, I have the most banging neck pillow. I bought it at like a Muji in the Narita airport. It's just like this tiny little clip sling thing that you can shape any way you need it to be shaped. And it's just like a, like a delicious, soft, almost like a Jersey cotton cover on it. And it's that super like tiny, like little micro bead fill thing that you can stuff in it. And you can just throw the whole cover in the wash. Um, and it's like, it's wonderful. You can fold that thing up. I, I've ha I wear it like a necklace around the airport, like a lunatic. And then I just smash her and fold her up however I need her. She's perfect. Be like one of the best airport purchases I think I've ever made. Okay. And then we got to add a few little, little dudes ads. Therapist is offering extra 30 minute therapy sessions. That's actually so amazing, Claire that your that your therapist is doing that for people that is like actually so wonderful i just i love people helping other people and people giving a shit and doing what they can to like ease the burden of being alive at this time for some folks okay three of these little cone guys again no, that's like incredible. They them sex positive issues, but that's amazing. Sea bear, how awesome. I'm so glad that you found them and that you have them to work with. Oh, sneaky little freaky. Trying to hide in there. That's very naughty. You guys remember that time I thought I lost a piece and had a fucking meltdown? <laughs> it wasn't that bad to be fair, but I was panicking internally pretty intensely. Okay. So we've capped those three. I think we're where we need to be right now. We're looking good. Oh yeah, I mean, Liz, I, I, I'm just refusing to believe that it's even an option at this point is kind of where I'm at. I'm just like, nah, we're good. It is simply not a, a possibility. We're just, it's just not. So anyway. Uh, I, th I don't really know which way they, it looks like it's kind of facing back a bit. Like it kind of looks like, kind of like, uh, it's kind of like that, I think. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks something like that. Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. It was just the one, right? Okay. Yeah. I didn't miss anything. And then we're doing more of the... Sir? Are you just coming over here because you think there's something to scream at? Lord have mercy. Unruly. Wild child. I mean, he is my son. And he is a feral creature. So, like, I, it's unsurprising. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do, but still. He got up today and, like... One of my neighbors was walking their wonderful dog and he just started screaming out the window. And I was like, why is that necessary? You see this dog every day, you know him and he's lovely. Like, why are we screaming at that, at that handsome man out there? We just don't need to. It's not polite. Oh, that's not what I want. La, la, la. I know, same combat. I'm, I'm allowing myself like a, like a, like a little bit of optimism as a treat. You know, I really think we can do it though. Um, okay. She goes here. And again, I'm going to probably just like, once I have this up where I want it, I'm going to like rotate these a different way, but I'm just trying to go by the book for now to make, to make sure I'm just building it right. You know, okay. Sometimes you just gotta yell and I, and that's fair. And I get that. I frequently employ that technique. I'm a big fan of yelling, which I know is a shock to all of you. Um, <laughs> is it facing? It's, it's like a way, right? Yeah. Okay. This looks good. I like that. I have to tell him I love him, mother. Maybe I'm, yeah, maybe that's the problem is that I'm just completely misunderstanding my dog's interactions 
with the neighborhood and he actually is just obsessed with everyone and is a very very kind and complimentary fellow and just wants to let everyone know that they deserve love and kindness that could be the situation i might be like legitimately interrupting my dog being like wonderful to other dogs okay another one of our little buds um goes in the open spot here and she kind of looks like she's facing down a little bit loud adoration and we love that okay and this guy goes and it's facing like the color the colorful little like dots are facing this way right yeah Yes. <gasps> Nay, thank you for 100. Oh my God. Can we get some hype in the chat, please? For the 100. Glad if I just for you too. Always be in your corner. Really feel this community proud of. Oh, Nay, thank you so much. Listen, you're right. He, he is doing the best that he can it's a hard job and someone's got to do it 99 more to go <laughs> nay thank you so much for being a founding member of the feral fam and a longtime pal and supporter super appreciate you welcome back for 100 that is actually so crazy also that alert scared the sh out of me because i forgot that i had it and i was like what is this i was like what voice is what is happening <laughs> it's literally me i recorded it and I forgot. Um, that's where we're at right now. It looks beautiful. Stunning. Love it. Oh my God. Thank you for a hundred. That is absolutely nuts. That is just so crazy. 100 is crazy. Okay. What now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're making two. Oh, what is that? Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. Oh my God. I said yes to the Lego set. Okay, I'm just going to wear these as little. My fingers aren't small enough, but. Oh my God. Uh, she's so cute. That's as far as I can. <laughs> you can't bet it. I'm going to get this stuck on my finger like a lunatic. Okay. I love these little pieces. Oh, right. I'm not going to get the smalls out yet. I'm going to just do like kind of a one step at a time thing with those because I don't want to drop any of them or lose any of them. I do have some extras, but oh my God, who is she? We're married to, we're married to Miss Lego. So exciting. Melanie Rachel, thank you for the bribe gaming for gamers and welcome back for four months. Can we get some cheese in the chat, please, for another resub? Yes, doctor, I was trying to propose with a Lego Botanicals. <laughs> that actually would be me though. Like, let's be real. Okay, so... We have a little twig piece going in here. And then we have, okay, this really interesting, like rounded little red guy with the nip on it. And then a little floral. How you doing, Melanie? Welcome back for four months. Going right there. And then she goes, on, oh, this is like very complicated start to this. She goes on the little branch part. I don't know how far in that's meant to go. We'll start with that. If I need to adjust it, I can. But I think this is, and are they both gonna be made like that? Yeah, two of them are made the same the same way. So it's like a little, it's like the ring and then that red piece with that pink like petal topper there. It just has to be like, it has to go through enough to just secure that piece. I don't think it has to go all the way through. Um, there she is. I was looking for her. Gotcha. We're getting there, Chad. We're doing it. Almost there. As long as I have them like the same, I think that's all that really matters. As long as they're like kind of the same attachment. Um, and then it's going to be a claw, a little flower guy. Hello. Lord have mercy. Go in there. Ow, that hurts. 
And then one of these round petal doodly doos in the middle. Okay, so I think that's what we're making. And it'll be like the individual petals that we're gonna clip on here to make the smaller blooms. I'm almost positive it's what we're doing, but correct me if I'm wrong. If that doesn't seem like that's what we're supposed to be doing, then we can <laughs> adapt. But it is that little like upside down kind of like dish looking piece. Oh my God, she does not want to go in there. It kind of looks like that. It's like a weird little, but it's the, it's so we can clip that as like the top part of the petal. You know, just do this one, some just okay. Oh, that sounds so delicious. Dude, I would fuck up like latkes, matzo soup any day. And I feel like I haven't even had like a ton of traditional like Jewish foods or cuisine, but what I have had has been frigging delicious. Okay, wait. Is this like lined up on the, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was gonna try to like realign the bottom, but. That one just doesn't feel like it's super solidly attached, which I don't love. Yeah, this doesn't matter at all, but I'm just doing it because I'm a Looney Tune. Okay. We continue. We carry on. I just feel like you can't really see, you can't see in super great detail what I'm doing because these pieces are very small. But I'm just making the petal pieces to attach to that little ring that we made before. Oh, dude, challah, come on. It's so good. Uh, it's also just beautiful. Like, it's almost too pretty to eat, and then I remember how delicious it is, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to eat it. No, I think I'm going to eat it. Okay, so it's five per... Let's just complete one. We might as well. What is the... Does it, like, matter where that little brown piece is? It looks like they kind of have it facing the bottom of the flower to have it sort of look like a a bit of the branch kind of protruding out I don't think it super matters but we can also like kind of rearrange these but oh my god challah french toast is out of control dude I'm telling you anything like I'm not even that big of a and I know sorry another another moment of food blasphemy here apologies I'm not even like that big of a french toast fan Truly, I don't think I I don't find it to be the superior like sweet breakfast item. I'm like a waffle guy like all day every day over French toast. Um, but if you do, you can do French toast with so many things, and it is just like next level. Like doing it with Hawaiian sweet roll, like they make a loaf of that, and like oh my god, it is actually so good. I don't think I like the spacing of this, but I'll adjust it later. Dude, I'm, I'm a big time waffle guy. I like a pancake too, but I'm a, I'm a big, big waffle guy. Okay. We'll do the petals first and then we'll finish the flowers. Pancake, waffle, Frenches. They're all fantastic. Oh, yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I would say no to any of them. Um because I wouldn't. Okay. Ooh, I feel like I'm running low on the little You're very savory breakfast girly. Oh yeah, and, and like that that over everything, Mads. I am the same. I am a savory breakfast girly over everything. However, like when I'm out to brunch with pals. If we want to order a little sweet pancake stack for the table and we all share, who am I to judge? Who am I to say no? Okay. Yeah, I'm. But I'm. Yeah, I'm very much a um, savory breakfast kind of girl as well. Oh, don't say biscuits and gravy. That's illegal. So good. Biscuits and gravy is like. It's curative. It's healing, you know. Dude, a little hash brown moment, a little home fry moment. Oh my God. So good. Okay, I'm missing one. There's one more petal piece and I can't tell the difference because it's so damn dark in here. I can't see where it is. 
this has not been this has been the pedal pieces right and not hold on pause rewind because if this is like brown pieces that i'm using instead i'm gonna cry she's got to be hiding somewhere there she is she was under the other little the way these lego sets are just coming from my throat with the stress of hiding the pieces Dude, biscuits and gravy is so good. No. Uh, get biscuits and gravy and a side of grits. Dude, yeah, there's a little like diner near me that does uh, biscuits and gravy like brekkie. And it's basically that. It's it's a gigantic, gigantic plate of biscuits and gravy. And I get a side of grits, scrambled eggs with cheese, and hash browns. And it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I do love chilaquiles too. So yummy. Breakfast nachos. Okay. I'm sorry. You said biscuits and gravy, Riley. It's not my fault. You said it. <laughs> Got a bacon, eggs and cheese. Like, hell yeah. Love an omelet. Oh, chicken and waffles, ponzu maple syrup. Get out of here. Oh, honey, garlic, sambal on the chicken. Fear most. Yeah, I mean, like, holy. That sounds like a like a transcendental experience, like a breakfast that would actually alter the course of my life. You know. Like that, like, I feel like that would actually like that would that would heal me like that would fix I would fix this. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I love that, Radmats. I am such a slut for an eggs Benny. That is like, that is my go to. Like, probably I would say what I get more than anything when I do brunch is like some sort of, some variety of some kind of poached egg, something with some kind of bread and, and sauce. You know, like I'm like, just, just, just slather it on there, dude. You know, just like I'll bathe in it, you know, let me live in there. Pumpkin waffles, same place as a vine. Oh, that sounds so good, Akuma. Acquired taste. Some people love baked beans. Some people, oh, I love, dude, I love like, uh, I love a baked bean and I love a beans on toast moment. I love a little full English breakfast moment as well. That's like the ideal for like savory breakfast people, you know? Okay. These are our smaller blossoms. I do think we might, I do think we might've actually done this the right way. <laughs> it looks pretty good. <sighs> looks pretty at all at once. There's no style barbecue shrimp, but Rassiago cheese grits. Oh, that sounds good. Holy. Dude, a shrimp and grits, get out of here. I have had some absolutely banging shrimp and grits it's just i just i love a grit dude i really do i know they're not everybody's thing but they are so so extremely my thing okay kind of want to just scooch these a little closer i don't know if they have the these pedal yeah these pedals aren't like folded up completely the way the other ones are they're kind of like they're a little bit spaced out they're not totally flat but they're not all the way in either. Excuse me, I burped, sorry. Those are so cute. And then those go, where are we putting those? Wait, are those clipped onto the front ones as well? Oh yeah. One is here and one is, oh, okay. So one is on the back portion. One is on this this one right here oh i'm scared oh okay oh that was scary i did not like having to attach that one okay and then the other one is here on the front okay i'm that was so scary but we did it all right oh my god she's gorgeous stop it 
Oh my god, she's beautiful. Okay. And then we have, I think, just a bunch of... Oh, it's for, like, the gravel. <laughs> That's so stinking cute. This is, like, the, the bonsai one. And the orchid one, too, I think, has some little... I want to make sure I have the actual right number in here. Oops. Eight... 10, 12, okay, good. We do have the right amount. 14, 16. Smoke brisket, ha smoke bris brisket, smoke brisket hash on the side. Oh, Riley, like you, bestie, uh, bestie, you got to chill in the chat here. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I love a bagel so much love a bagel come on now what's up ampersands how you doing we are not um unfortunately gonna be live very much longer but we will send you somewhere chill i did eat dinner can you tell uh, go eat something riley i gotta go make dinner as well i'm very excited riley go eat dinner fred welcome back for 80 months thank you for the prime gaming for gamers can we get some cheese in the chat, please? I probably should not have done this prior to one more time showing you the full product, but I'll just keep it upright and do it on the full screen camera because now I can't tilt it because I put all of the little gravel pieces at the bottom. <gasps> okay, so this is the top down view. Now I can't turn it and show you horizontally, but it's fine. Um, anyway, thanks Fred, it's very, very comfy. Very comfy cozy. Um, yes, we are. We are. Did you do it, Ziv? Thank you. Riley, go eat with love and respect and light and all that. Go eat, Riley. You were timed out because we care about you. <laughs> oh my God, that's actually so funny. Okay. The finished product. She is truly stunning. God, I'm trying so hard not to spill the bottom part. The base is also super, super cute. This is gorgeous. Like, this is actually going to be so pretty in my bedroom. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. It's, like, stunning. Isn't it so cute? Dude, they, they really popped off with these, with the chrysanthemum and this. The little decorative pots with the little stands are just unreal they're so cool we love her she's beautiful everyone say thank you to this beautiful girl for being a part of the stream thank you um thank you everyone for an extremely chill and wonderful not afternoon it was more it was an evening lego moment but we did our very best um we are going to go chill with another pal in just a moment here, but I did just want to wrap up by saying, um, please, 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 uh, take good care of yourselves over the next few days. Um, please don't forget if you haven't already, uh, to vote tomorrow, it is election day. It is a huge deal. I know there is going to be a ton of, uh, stressful discourse online and also IRL, uh, between family members and friends and all that over the next few days. So like, please, please take care of yourselves. Airport rules. Um, in all seriousness, um, I do know that uh, a lot of folks are um, genuinely feeling very tense and very anxious and very uncomfortable. Uh, and I and I completely understand that and I understand why. Um, but no matter what, um, as said earlier in the stream, like no matter what happens, um, there are people who are never like never going to give up on um, fighting for people to keep access to the care that they need and um, fight to make sure that people don't have their rights taken away. Um, like there are always going to be people in your corner um, and this community is just one very small example of those very people who are going to do everything in their power and everything they can to fight and support um, ourselves and one another, um, you know, no matter what. Uh, so we will always do our best to create a space where people can come and feel welcome and supported. And we will also do all of the other important legwork behind the scenes. Um, 
and have those tough conversations and and do that work to ensure that everybody you know can live the life that they deserve um anyway yeah my vaccine and doctor's point so nothing else going on that day <laughs> oh god oh yeah oh also i feel like i don't need to say this to this community i don't think but in case anyone just happens upon the stream and needs to hear it your vote is private your vote is private um and i say that with love and kindness to you all um oh parade i don't think i said hi to you hello and goodbye thank you for hanging out with us today Oh, Holly, we're glad that you stuck around with us. Yeah, huge thank you again and shout out again to um, to Ashley Roboto. Thank you to all of the uh, the crabs that came in with the crab raid. Super appreciate you guys and anybody who decided to stick around and give us some of your precious time. Thank you for spending uh, spending a little evening with the Farrell fam. We appreciate you guys very much. Um, all right, let's go vibe with a pal here. What we got going on? Oh, lots of pals. I don't know why I'm always like surprised. I feel like sometimes I go to my page to raid somebody and there's like two people and then other days it's like 40. Um, excuse me. So, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I think we raid Cap. Is Cap playing Nancy Drew? Hell yeah. We are going to go and raid the wonderful and talented Cat Scratch, who is currently, presently, deep into a Nancy Drew game at the moment. Um, I promise some excellent vibes over with Cat uh, and crew. Um, thanks for hanging, dude, man. Appreciate you. Ms. Catherine Scratchington, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that is it for tonight's very chill, very short stream. Thank you all for hanging. I'm not going to be live tomorrow, um, but I will be back on Wednesday. And hopefully it's hopefully it, it's a good day. Hopefully Wednesday is a good day. And if it's not, airport rules. All right. Uh, love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for everything today. I super uh, I'm super grateful for everybody who came through to hang out with us. Um, take care of yourselves tomorrow, besties. Love you. Appreciate you. Hang in there. Um, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Be good to cat the mods in the community. And I will see you on Wednesday. Okay. Love you. Bye.